You didn't step hear stepdad? I, I hate my, my stepdad. You didn't hear that one? That song is about you. Yeah. Ain't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. Oh, God, but... this guy got his dick in my mom. Ain't he talking about me? No? I'm pretty, I thought stepdad's the one he's talking about me, no? But then it gets to the Eminem part. Now don't sit here, We I know what he said, okay? Don't sit here and try to uh, go read his fucking lyrics for him, okay? I know what this bitch ass said, okay? And, and what? I'm still unscathed. Guess what? Motherfuckers still ain't listening to that in the hood. Nobody came to me in the hood and was like, yo, I just heard this Eminem song where he went at you. No, they got to read about it on media takeout and shit like that. Because again, my point is proven, nobody listens to your fucking shit. So I'm chilling right now. You could talk about me a million times. See what it is. I figured out I live rent free inside Eminem's fucking brain. I got squatter's rights in that bitch. Yeah, your trailer park is filthy. And it's filthy inside your fucking brain. Uh, but I'm in here chilling, you know. You're going to have to call the marshals to get me out. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm now the guest in your fucking house. Let's talk about it. Well... I always find it funny when people say this part where they say, you know, he says your group was off the chain, but you're the weakest link. Right. Well, but you wouldn't have the group without Lord Jamar. So weakest link, strongest link, middle link. Does it really matter? Big man ting, smash the like button and subscribe. Oh my gosh. It's been a while since I roasted this Lord Jamar, this washed up Donny, you know, Jesus, I swear to God, yeah, the only reason people even have a clue, I can't lie though, listen, even though I only know Lord Jamar because of Eminem, because of this beef of Eminem, still, even though I only know him that way, I still don't know any of his tunes, no word of a lie, hand on your heart, yeah, unless it's related to this uh, Eminem situation, does anyone know a Lord Jamar track? I can't tell you one track. I can't even tell you. I don't even know this guy's in rap. No word of a lie. The only way I know Lord Jamar is number one, because of DJ Vlad, and number two, because of Eminem. That's it. Now, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm some new age kind of Don there. That might be the case, but still. Never mind talking about our oh, M&M's a guest in, in our rap. And you're a guest in rap. Don't no one know you. At least people know Eminem. White, black, or pink, people know Eminem. The worst thing is, you're in your so-called home, Lord Jamar's black in his so-called home. People don't even know you in your so-called home. People know Eminem, no? Yeah? Let's get that straight. People only know you. People only know the so-called King Jamar in his own home because of Eminem. You should be grateful. In my opinion, yeah, this Lord Jamar talks about race so much, talks about DJ Vlad's a guest in this and Eminem's a guest in this. Listen, never mind that. The only reason people know you is because of them two so-called guests. You should be Lord Jamar's on his knees thanking DJ Vlad and Eminem for making him even a bit relevant. The little bit of relevancy he does have, which is the beef with Eminem and being on DJ Vlad as a kind of token character, that's the only, that's the only bit you've got. You should be grateful to them so-called guests. Anyway, let's take it back and go through the rest of what this fool said. Now, I'm not some hip-hop historian, so bear in mind some of the things I say, take him up skin deep, but still, he starts off by saying, Oh man, um, um, I know what he said. I'm still unscathed. No one in the hood came, no one came to me in the hood and told me Eminem dissed me. Listen, the reason no one came to you in the hood and told you, because don't no one know you. No word of a lie yet. If someone, when someone hears the Eminem diss about Lord Jamar, number one, no one will even know who he's talking about. Yeah, when Eminem, when Eminem dropped them four bars, no one knows who Lord Jamar is, to be honest. No one knows who what brand new being is to even know it relates to Lord Jamar. So many people will have heard it and walked straight past him because no one's got a, a, dis, a whistle Dixie who Lord Jamar is. That's why no one came up to you. Because don't no one know you. Don't no one know that Eminem's talking about your sorry ass. That's the first thing. Next thing, he talks about no one listens to Eminem. No one listens to Eminem. If no one listens to Eminem, don't no one listen to you, boss man. Like I said, we can all name, even if you can't name nothing, 
Everyone can name 8 Mile, for example. What's what's Lord Jamar's 8 Mile? Na name me genuinely, name me one Lord Jamar track. Don't know one, no. And he's in his so called home. Yeah? Rap's meant to be for this person, that person. If you're, if it's your home, Lord Jamar, why don't no one know you in it? Don't no one know you. Not even a bit. There's new style people that everyone knows, that, but no one don't know you. You're, but this man's a 50 year old man as well. You'd think by now he'd have some kind of like. Come some kind of stature in the community. You don't know one know him. Unfortunately, he ain't got no bangers. That's the bottom line here. And if, I, if I'm honest, the reason you're so angry, what makes Lord Jamar angry at Eminem, is the fact that he sees this so-called white guy in his in his so-called home of rap, and he's sour because two so-called infidels, two white people, have made it more successful than him. In his own kind of game. Rap is meant to be your game, Lord Jamal. That's what you keep going on about. If it's your game, why 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 are you irrelevant for? Why don't why don't no one know your name? Why don't no why don't no one know your tracks? And that's what you're sour about. What you need to do is, man. Say thanks to Vlad. Say thanks to Eminem for the relevancy and just keep it moving on this topic. But like ultimately, what what it comes down to is Lord Jamal knows that. If he isn't on DJ Vlad, if he's not talking or dissing Eminem, he ain't gonna get no clout. He ain't gonna get his bills paid. So that's why, if anyone was wondering why Lord Jamar's always going on about this, and he talks about how no one knows Eminem, but did you hear it at the start of this interview? He starts saying things like, oh, oh, Eminem's stepdad was, Eminem's stepdad song was talking about me, and, oh, Eminem's this song's talking about me. You've, my mum must have listened to the whole album. Yeah? <laughs> you say no one listens to Eminem. You're, you're, the, you're meant to be his arch enemy, yet you sat there and listened to every track and every bar. He must have, the way that Lord Jamal was breaking down the bars and he was singing it off by heart. It wasn't like they had the tune in, in the background. My man, my man Lord Jamal was singing stepdad lyrics, reading them, reading them off. Do, do you know how long it takes for someone to learn an album? Especially a relatively new one. It take, you have to be banging that album. Lord Jamar is a fan of Eminem. The way he was reciting them lyrics with confidence. He weren't mumbling them. He was shouting them with confidence. He was repeating them. He knows them bars. He's had that album on, on repeat. That's for sure. He knows every track. He knows all the little intricate bars. Yeah, you are a number one fan about Eminem don't have no fans. You're his number one fan by the sounds of things. Anyway, moving on. Next thing. He talks about... Oh, he starts talking about the, the whole thing about oh, uh, Eminem says that Lord Jamar's new brand Nubian's weakest link, and then they all say DJ Vlad says and Lord Jamar says oh we wouldn't have a brand Nubian without Lord Jamar. I'm not being funny, yeah. Like I said at the start of this video, I'm not some hip hop historian, but who the fuck is brand Nubian? No word of a lie. I'm I'm a new style kind of cat. I know 6 9 I know 50 so I'm not someone who studies hip-hop, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not someone who bangs music like that. I'm, I'm here for the hype. I'm here for the entertainment. That said, apart from DJ Vlad, apart from this Eminem beef, I don't know Lord Jamar. Who is Brand Nubian? Genuinely, what is Brand Nubian? Name me a track of Brand Nubian. I can't tell you none. No disrespect to them dons there, fair play to them, they're more su successful than me, but still, I don't know them. You're sitting here talking about Lord Jamar's the weakest link. I don't know who they are to be the weakest link of. So that's the bottom line here. Don't know one no brand Nubian. Hand on your heart, yeah. Of course, there's probably some old dons out there who do know brand Nubian. But in general, no one knows brand Nubian. No one knows Lord Jamar. And that's why he's big mad. He's big mad that a so-called white don came in the game and took all the clout he thinks he deserves. Lord Jamar's big mad. Yeah? What you need to do is, Lord Jamar, rather than be sour, go to the studio and start actually writing some songs that people want to listen to. You spend too much time on DJ Vlad. How can you? How are you going to get good at rap if you spend half your life in the, in the interview room moaning about Eminem? Fix up. 